so today I am rushing around because I've been called in to work for a few extra shifts, which is great. Um, anything extra goes in my wedding fund, so... <laughs> oh god, that was so girly. Sorry about that, we'll try and avoid that in future. Basically, what today is, is I wanted to dye my hair. As you can all see, it's gone a bit green, a little bit strange. I like the colour, but I thought, well, today is the day I've got off, I can do it, it'll be great. But now I'm going into work but I'm not happy with the way it looks now because I've talked myself into changing it so I need to have a quick fix that doesn't involve turning my entire bar from blue and having to rush into work covered in blue all over my face and scalp and hands seems fair enough what I have is I bought a little while ago let's see if I can show you some hair chalks and now I got these on Groupon saw them for why not? Gave them a try, didn't get very far with them. Since then, uh, I've noticed a lot of people have put up uh, videos explaining how to use them. So I've got a few tips that I've found that seem to make it work better. And so now I'm going to give them a try again. I haven't tried them since I bought the new packet. Um, sounds stupid, I know you don't think it works, you buy another one. But I knew it was more operator than anything and I lost the last packet. One of the things I have noticed is a lot of people have said how you can use normal uh, chalk pastels for this. Personally I haven't tried that yet. I've only bought these because they were on offer and because I'm cheap. <laughs> and so I wouldn't be able to say anything but certainly if you've got them lying around or you can find a cheap packet give it a try. So here we go. So as you can see, nice new packet, <laughs> awesome. Now, obviously you need to have wet hair, which as you can see, mine is, just got out of the shower. And what I've also got is I have a tub of water, there's not much in it, and I'm not gonna tilt it because that'll be stupid. Uh, plastic gloves, you want some gloves. Believe me, you it's the same as hair dye. If you don't do it with gloves on, you're gonna have it on your hands and it is a nightmare to get off. It may only be chalk, but it still takes a while to get off and you, it's just easier to put gloves on. It makes more sense. The other thing I have <laughs> is a spray bottle. This is to make sure that any areas that aren't dried out a bit or aren't wet enough, I can spray. What's amusing about this is this is the same spray bottle I use for my dogs when they're misbehaving. <laughs> there we go so obviously with the blue hair it would make sense to try and cover it with something blue I've got a mirror just over here so I can see what I'm doing as well which is always handy so what I'm going to do is just get the hair a little bit wetter now I've also got and I had when I was trying to be organised a hat Of hair clips. I did big. Separate that out. Clip that lot back. And clip that back. There we go. So it's got a nice strip. Put my brush through it. Now, one of the things I have learned is that your tips dry out really quickly. And seeing as those are the most orange bits at the moment, it's probably where I need it the most. I've also learned the best thing to do, this seems really awful for an artist, is to break them in half. Oh, that was almost painful. So you now have two, right, and then literally dip them in water. Sort of put them either side of the hair if you can and scrape it down. I don't know if you can see that. Not the best shot in the world. But there you go, you can see that blue stripe coming up. So it turns out that by sandwiching in between it and adding the water, it gives you a much better effect. Now the beauty of my hair is 
it's all strange and different colours, nothing's set. So I don't have to spend ages, like a lot of other people will, going along and trying to make the colour solid because my hair's never been one colour anyway. I just want it to be a bit tidier, look a bit more funky. It would also be quick so I don't have to worry about being late for work. Now what I've found is it's best to do one area, go around, do what you can and then come back if you want to touch it up. That way it dries a little bit and you can see what the final colour is going to look like and whether you need to or not. And just an example, this <laughs> is why you wear the gloves. <laughs> right. in a hurry I've got a bit of work at some point <laughs> soon what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just basically do it as quick as possible which is not necessarily the right way to do it So obviously it's not perfect and I don't think rushing around is helping. And I could definitely have used more hair clips, that would have been much more sensible. But such is life, it's too late to change that now. To be honest, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the back of it. Right. Flashback from the glove just got me in the face. Ah, very stress. Uh, that'll do for now. Um, so, green. Now the problem with this is, is that my back is killing me. So I prolapsed some discs a few years ago now, and when they did the tests on it, they they did an MRI, and as well as the prolapsed discs, they found that I had a couple of spinal conditions that I've had since birth. Um, so long story short, I'm in an awful lot of pain. I've learnt how to just crack on with it because you have to. You don't get a bloody choice, but hurts like hell and doing anything like this puts me under immense pressure it seems odd I know there'll be people out there going well why do it 
but the fact of the matter is I didn't for a long time and I lost who I was so I need to be I need to do this to be able to be me and if you don't understand that you never will and that's fine but this is how I'm coping and this is who I am and I can't change that and I wouldn't want to I'm not going to sit at home and do nothing just because it's going to hurt because breathing can hurt moving can hurt sleeping is almost impossible because it hurts so what's the point you wouldn't even be existing at that point so I'm living I'm sucking it up I'm manning up and I'm dealing with it and every time it hurts to the point where I want to stop I just remind myself that pain reminds me I'm still alive now I've had a little break I'm gonna crack back on with it and try and get this done because it is beginning to wear Some of you might wonder why I'm putting green over green, but it's just a nicer, richer green. A bit more of a foresty green, I suppose, a natural green. And once this is all dried, it'll have all the different colours going through it, so different highlights here and there are quite nice to have. And then on the other side, I've just got the blues and the... Mm. I'm looking purple there. See, this is why I said you need to do a second load, a second coverage, just to make sure you've got it. But because of the time scale, I'm not going to have time to do that. using the one at the moment and just running it down and through because this is quite a small amount of hair and thin. I'm also hoping that I can uh, get a bit better coverage in between. So how about you guys? Do anyone dye their hair? Does anyone use hair chalk? You know, have you got any tips for how to do it? I mean, if you've got tips on how to dye your hair as well, that'd be grand. Because, like I say, when I did it, I'd used the wrong bleach and it went green, which you don't mind. But obviously, it'd be much better to do it the right way. And can you recommend anyone, UK only, sorry, US, no offence, that can do hair colouring that will allow on it? Because obviously, for my wedding, I would still want my hair blue, and it's the only time I think I'm going to pay someone to do it professionally depending on how much it costs because again I'm cheap <laughs> so if anyone knows of anyone and wants to recommend anyone that would be grand because I'd really like someone to do my hair for the wedding so I know it's done properly rather than the uh, little hiccups that I had I mean in my mind nothing it doesn't look bad because it's not no let's try this in English there's no set colour there's lots of different blue highlights and low lights going through it was sort of faded into the top of my hair with that sort of ombre look ombre however you want to say it so it was all right and I'm not going to say oh okay it was awful and all of this because it wasn't and I've been wearing it with pride since and my other half did it for me awesome I know sit there with my back to him and he did my entire hair for me which I thought was brilliant us three days because of my back I couldn't bleach it all in, and do it all in one go so we had to bleach it and then we had to uh, leave it for a few days let my back calm down now this is getting more tricky because it's the hair from behind the back of my head so obviously I can do tips that's the easy part okay so the pink's obviously turning out to be a lot more difficult to get covered um, that's probably because of the under the base cover and also because of where it is trying to get the colour to cover is quite difficult God I don't think I can see that my neck's all pink and blue and horrible and my hair is dripping down my back So 
So what I'm doing with this back bit is just putting the light blue through it to cover some of the green because it's at the back so you're not going to be able to see much of it. That's the plan anyway. It's harder to get to so I'm thinking this is just the easier option. And I would dye the dry end strips so I'm just going to work with what I've got and then just keep letting bits down and do it that way. This has just set my fire alarm off. <laughs> so what I'm finding is it's hard to get my hairbrush through because of the chalk. And the more I work it, the more the chalk, as you can see, comes up. So, this is something I'm going to have to work on. Maybe try a different brush. I'm using this one because it was just the one that's always to hand. So. And you can see I've got all the different colours in it, it looks really cool. I mean there's some orange and yellow up here which is where the bleach is, I didn't go high enough but each time we learn a lesson. So this one's much more aqua blue whereas I've got a lot of um, purple and blue in there. So I mean they're not vibrant, they're not bright but they do cover some of the sins and it's just a bit different. So second pair of gloves. <laughs> Literally, I've got dust everywhere. I had a shower before I did this, and I now think I'm going to have to do my hair and then jump in the shower to rinse it all off. So my plan is simply, because it's quite, it's not knotted anymore, but it's matting very quickly and very easily, what I'm going to do is literally put it back in a simple ponytail and a simple plait and be done with it. <laughs> Just from doing that, I've already got all this blue marking on my forehead. So that's the other thing. The dust doesn't actually seem to settle. So hopefully, I'm going to work in a minute. So hopefully I won't spend the day having to go to the bathroom to uh, get rid of the colour. So I'm just trying to separate the hair. I mean, what doesn't help is it needs a cut anyway, so it's probably a little bit sort of brittle and not brilliant right now. But I'm working with what I have. And wherever you do it, be aware it's going to get a mess. I've got dust everywhere. It's not just my hair brush and my hair dryer that's covered in it, my desk's covered in it, my body's covered in it, anything that happened to be in the room at the same time is covered in it. Again, not easy for someone with backache. If there's anyone out there that suffers with backache, or any other sort of pain, you'll recognise the face that I'm pulling as the face of enough is enough. Handy <sighs> capable, that's what I tell myself. Okay. Oh. It's quite a thick, chunky plait. <laughs> not really going down as such. Right, I'm going to try something. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, so we'll see. Mm. 
close up of me. Ah, sorry, you don't want that. What you do want to see? Dust on everything. You guys have got dust on you. I'm sorry, I turned you all blue. Right. Oh, look at the state of my forehead. Ready? Let's see if we can show you this. First of all, it's chunky as hell. You have to excuse the mess of my face. Uh, I mean, I've got extra colour going through it, which is great. But I can't say I'm overwhelmed with the outcome, but there we go, that is life. So there you go, it's going to be messy. Um, I'm not sure if the outcome is worth the effort. If you're putting one or two streaks through, it'd probably be fine, but to do what I was doing, I'm not sure that it's going to work out the best. Um, but for now, my hair's cool. Can't say it's wrong because there's no right or wrong in this. It looks cool. I've tried the stuff out. I get to clean my face up now and dash off to work. So there we go. Let's have a look and see. See, that is the beauty. Um, okay, get a close up. So here we see all this. But unlike hair dye, you can just give it a wipe. And it's gone. And back on the neck is going to be the same. And it's gone. I'll do it on around there. I do apologise because I'm now also using you to be able to see the marking and get rid of it. Lots of blue coming off here. I mean, once I've put my uniform on it, it shouldn't be too bad because obviously a lot of it will be covered with that. But it doesn't mean I really want to go in with purple ears and all sorts. I have at least got some cool looking hair. I found out something about the products. At least it didn't go as bad last time. I actually put colour through it, so that's always a good start. But ultimately, for what I want, I think I'll be sticking to the hair dye before I turn you off. I have someone who's trying to meet you. Right. Ooh, close up of Kara. Ready? Yep. Turn you around. And this is Ruby. No, Ruby, don't say hello to the camera. And this is Dusty. Who are being brave because they can't hear the spray bottle or the hairdryer. Who's with you? Hello. What are you doing? Be close up. Yeah. yeah, that's Gobby. What'd you say? Really? Okay, there we go. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I will be putting links for my websites and everything in the box eventually, but for now I'm just going to be plodding along. So if you've got any input on the blog or on what I've just done here, you've got any input on other products I could try and use, let me know. I'm more than happy to try them. I, I quite like doing this. So this is the follow up from putting the hair chalk in my hair. This is the day after. Um, one of the things I found was that it was really hard to brush my hair, even once it was dry. It, I don't know whether I need a different brush or whether there was something I was doing wrong, but I could not get my brush through it, so I slung it up into a plait to go to work. Um, and now I've just found out I'm going out for dinner tonight, so I've got to do something about it because I've got to be able to brush my hair. I can't really just leave it as it is. But I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like when it's all plaited, so you can see what it looks like. So we're going to go for a little bit of a ride. Sorry about this. Excuse the mess of the room. But you can see, I mean, I've got some nice colour on it. Mm, no. Getting used to this camera thing is harder than you think. So, I mean, I've got some nice colour in there. And on the underside. And I even had someone yesterday at work compliment me, customer compliment me on my hair. 
so it, it looks cool and if you only wanted one or two streaks maybe it would be fine but for what I've done it's matted my hair so much so that I've now got to go and take a shower just to wash it out um, which is fine I needed a shower anyway but obviously if you want it for any particular reason or you thought you were styling your hair like it it's not really going to be necessarily the right move for you not to say that dyeing your hair permanently is but when you've got all of these spray hair colours and things like that I don't see why you would make your hair I mean it feels awful it feels dry and crunchy and just not very pleasant at all so maybe for some of you out there hair chalks are the way to go give them a try you only know if you try it yourself but for me don't think I'll be doing that again. On the plus side, I can use chalks for doing artwork instead. So, you know, <laughs> onwards and upwards. <laughs> anyway, there you go. That is that. And I have got to go and get ready for dinner tonight. So, have a great day, everyone. It's Friday, so tomorrow is Saturday, funnily enough. So, hopefully, you've all got some fun things planned for the weekend. And I will catch up with you all later. Take care of yourselves. Bye.